Next, let us see about the flow shop schedule. In case of flow shop, it is the uh, uh, advanced or the next process of the single machine schedule. Here, what actually we will be doing is, we will be having M machines. Okay, say for example, I am having M machines. And there will be a queue for jobs and I will be having n different jobs. Okay. So now I need to find out in what particular order these jobs has to be fed into the missions. Okay. The mission order will remain same for all the jobs. Okay, that is flow shop scheduling. Okay, the processing of the all the jobs will require the missions in the same order. For example, I am setting up a one, two, three the missions in this order. Uh, say for example, I am having a lake followed by a, a drilling mission and followed by lake again. So this is the sequence in which all these n jobs has to be processed. That is job one. Uh, to the end, they will first go into the lake mission, then they will move on to the drilling mission, and then finally to the lake mission. So I I need not bother in what order the mission should be placed. Okay, I'll be focusing only on the order in which the job has to be fed. Okay, so what's the difference between the single mission scheduling and four shop scheduling is we have to take into consideration the idle time in each mission. Okay. In case of single mission, so this is hypothetical, okay, no particular job is going to require only one machining operation to be converted from raw material to a finished goods, right. So this is a hypothetical, in order to develop the algorithms, we do have a hypothetical uh, uh, scheduling sequence and from this we are uh, uh, developing the flow shop scheduling. Here the order in which the machining uh, sequence that is going to be done, that will remain same for all the jobs and we are going to focus only on the order in which the job has to be fed into the missions okay uh, so we will be considering the idle time in each job uh, each mission is mission also okay so our objective here is we want to uh, sequence we want to find the order in which the job is going to be fed such that the total idle time in each mission is minimized okay so that is your mix span time that is the completion time of all the jobs in particular batch in consideration with the idle time of each mission so that is flow shop scheduling. So consider this example. Uh, we have three jobs A, B and C and they has to be processed on four missions in order to be uh, converted from raw material to finished goods. Okay? All these three missions require the processing sequence of same order. That is M1 first they has to be missioned in mission 1, mission 3, mission 4 and mission 2. Okay? So the sequence is same. The first operation that has to be done in mission 1 second operation in mission 3, third operation in mission 4 and fourth operation in mission 2. Okay. The sequence of uh, operation for all the jobs is same. Okay. Now what I am going to, now what I want to find out is, I want to find out the optimal order in which these jobs has to be fed into the missions such that the idle time in each, each mission is minimized. Okay. So that is flow stop scheduling. So flow shop scheduling is generally is followed in product layout shops. Okay, that is uh, the manufacturing sector which focus on product layout. They will be uh, using the flow shop scheduling. So what is product layout? Okay, so product layout actually, as the name indicates, gives priority to the products. Okay, so in what order I am going to mission this particular product? What operation sequence I am going to do in this particular product? I will be arranging the missions in that order. Okay, uh, as, as this example says, so I am going to process three missions, right? So, uh, so three jobs, A, B, C. So I will be arranging the missions in this order. So mission 1, then there will be mission 3, then there will be mission 4, and then there will be mission 2. So the missions will be arranged in the sequence of the operations of the particular product. So the product will be given priority, okay? This mission 1 can be a lathe, mission two, 3 can be a drilling mission and mission 4 can again be a lathe. 
okay so what we can do is uh, when the job a enters the lathe machine and it completes the turning operation or some kind of uh, phasing operation or anything and it moves on to drilling machine and again it needs to work on a lathe machine i do not redirect the product back to machine 1 because machine 1 and machine 4 are same right i do not redirect the product to machine 1 i simply bring in a new lathe and install it next to machine 3 because i am giving priority to the product okay so you can uh, question that how is the utilization of machine is justified here right so the utilization of the machine is justified by having a higher number of products manufactured okay so this in this case i will be mass producing product a okay so when i mass produce the utilization automatically will be higher so mission 1 will also be utilized 80 percentage and mission 4 will also be utilized 80 percentage okay so in case of a flow shop scheduling or a product layout i will be arranging the missions in the order in which the a job requires its operation to be done okay so uh, if a job requires two lathes okay i'll be bringing in two different lathes and the capacity utilization of two lathes will be justified because i'll be mass producing this product so higher the number of products automatically higher will be the capacity utilization so instead of redirecting the product back to machine one okay and uh, that will be that will incur a higher uh, material uh, flow cost Instead of redirecting it here and wasting the time, that is, the mission B has to wait till mission A again gets. Uh, sorry, the job B has to wait till mission uh, till uh, job A again has to be missioned in uh, mission one. Okay. So in order to uh, minimize this uh, idle time or the weightage waiting time, what I'm doing, I'm installing a another lathe. Okay. And the capacity utilization of this new mission is justified because I'm having a mass production of product A. Okay, so remember, uh, flow shop scheduling is done in product layout and in product layout, the priority is given to the product and missions are arranged according to the operation sequence of the particular product. And in case of flow shop scheduling or product layout, all the jobs will have the same machining sequence and this is uh, preferable only in case of mass production where product variety is very low. Next one is job production, okay, uh, job shop production. So here what happens is we'll be having n independent, yeah, n independent missions. So you see the missions, we have m independent missions. And there will be n jobs waiting in the queue. So compared to flow shop scheduling, in job shop scheduling, these independent jobs will have different machining sequence. Okay? As you can see, in job A, the machining sequence is M1. First, it will be operating in M1, then M3, then M4 and M2. Whereas uh, job B, it will be machined first in M2, followed by M3 and M4. Okay. So in a job shop scheduling, the sequence of operations of each job will be different. So the flow will not be uniform as in case of flow shop. As you can see, the flow is a single straight line. Okay, The job will flow through the missions in a single straight line. Whereas here, as you can see, the job will enter first the mission 1, then it moves to mission 2, then to 4, then to M mission. Okay, This is the sequence of the job A. Then job B will enter first into mission 2. Then to mission 5 and then to 4, then to 3. Okay, so the missions will not be arranged in a straight line, it will be grouped according to the uh, sequence of operations of a particular family of products. Okay, so this is more like a cellular layout. So, job shop scheduling is generally done in a manufacturing sector where we have a process layout. So, what is process layout? Is we will group similar missions together. Let us say, for example, we'll group all the lathe missions in this particular workstation. 
all the milling machines in this particular workstation all the drilling machines in this particular workstation okay so the in this work center there will be uh, say for example three lathe machines okay so while job a is being processed in lathe 1 the b will be simultaneously processed in lathe 3 okay so we will be giving priority to the machines that's why it's known as job shop scheduling or process layout so the uh, uh, priority is given to the process that is the mission so the missions will be grouped together and the jobs will be scheduled such that the next span time is minimized so here we need to find out in what order the jobs has to be uh, fed into the particular missions okay so this is job shop scheduling so let me repeat again job shop scheduling is generally done in uh, process layout and here we will be achieving a higher capacity utilization of machine because we are giving priority to the process but we will be have a very, a very low production volume okay because we are producing a variety of products okay each job is having very different process sequence compared to other jobs right so we will be producing a variety of products and the production volume will be very less here so let me give a recap so in case of a single mission production schedule uh, we will be having only a uh, one mission and uh, there will be a queue with the n different jobs okay all these jobs will have only a single operation that has to be processed in that single mission so our objective is to find out the order the optimal order in which the jobs has to be fed into the single mission such that certain performance measure is achieved okay this is a hypothetical problem uh, no manufacturing sector uses this type of scheduling the next one is flow shop okay here uh, all the products will have same processing sequence so depending upon that processing sequence the machines will be arranged in that order so we need not bother about the order in which the mission is going to be arranged we will be focusing only the order in which the job has to be fed into the machines okay uh, our main objective here is to minimize the idle time in each mission okay that that's why the make span will come into picture so make span is nothing but the total completion time of all the jobs in a particular batch okay such that the uh, uh, idle time is also minimized okay so flow shop scheduling is uh, uh, done in a product layout uh, where the priority is given to the product that will be mass producing a product production volume will be high but the variety will be less and the capacity utilization of machine will also be less the last one is job shop scheduling here uh, we'll be having uh, m different missions and n different jobs okay and these jobs will be having a different process sequence that is we'll be producing a variety of products and this particular scheduling is more suitable for a process layout uh, where uh, the priority is given to the missions so missions of similar identity they will be grouped together and uh, the jobs will move from one mission to another in a, a non uniform pattern okay so here we'll be achieving a huge product variety but the production volume will be very less and uh, the mission capacity utilization will be very high.